And hello, basketball fans. Welcome, everybody, to Redeemer Radio Sports and the best night of the year that's not a sectional tournament play. It's Battle of the Bishops. we got a doubleheader coming your way tonight. It's the girls first, the guys second. The girls game is going to be a very interesting game. Two very evenly matched teams. Should be a very, very good ball game. Two of the better girls teams in the area. If uh, one of the uh, bigs or both of the bigs on one of the teams gets in foul trouble, that will really dictate how this game goes. Ryan dumps it inside to Ross. Ross puts That's it up her and shot. In. Easy bucket for Ross. She had another nice low blocks on the left side. And there she finally found Ross on the baseline. They're going to throw it out to. That's too easy. Side. Yeah, she crawled right in there. Molly Ring just rolled right into the lane and put up a teardrop. She's a sophomore in the point guard, but she's picked up her scoring here in the second half of the season. Her confidence on offense is really built. Over to Ross. Ross looking to get it down low. Interior pass to Sturba, dump it in. She's awful tough when she gets that ball inside that low. 12-11, Saints up by one. Ashley bounce pass inside to Rival. She gets inside, the defense does not stop her up and in. That was a beautiful move. Uh, uh, it's sort of poor scouting on the part of... Um, Bishop Dwyer, Kenny, because uh, Lydia Reinbold's left-handed, and they sure didn't play her like that. Defender back to Johnson. She's going to circle the wagon. No drive oh, that's too lane. easy. Nobody <laughs> stopped her. Too the easy. Ball hung on the iron and fell in. So 25-15. Wow. What a quarter uh, by Bishop Lures. 27-17, your halftime score. We have a couple of halftime guests, and one of them's got the headphones on now. Uh, tonight is about raising awareness for teen dating violence. The month of February, that's what it is about. And Heather's Closet is a nonprofit organization, and I'm the executive director of it. Sadly, it started because 10 years ago, my niece was brutally murdered by her boyfriend. And I am so blessed to be in a situation here at Bishop Lures. And they said, can you come in and tell her story? And it just kind of has grown from there. The school allows us to get in the cafeteria where we have a great captive audience. And we just do all kinds of uh, fun activities. I know it's a really heavy subject, but we try to just bring awareness. And 79% of our kids, after a survey, have said that they're confident that they know what to do. Bob, what a wild first half. Everything is going Lure's way. They're just out playing Dwenger right now. And Dwenger's going to have to find the, the shooting range, or this will be a long night. Right boat, uh, about two feet outside the right. Oh, ball. there's trouble. Can have to, can have to Once she gets in. the ball that close, Kenny, it's trouble. An easy rebound for Reinbolt. Reinbolt goes all the way up. That left hand up. There. Terrible defense by Bishop Dwenger, Kenny. She went coast to coast. Terrible defense. Green flips it to Ross. Ross guarded by Gray. She gets inside, puts it up, and gets the shooter's bounce, and it counts. 33 24. That's 11 for Ellen Ross. Kanapke finds. David nice pass by Kanapke. She's doing it all tonight, Kenny. She David, really is. David was kind of a reverse layup there. Dandy little shot. Wright has the basketball at the free throw line. They let the left side of the lane open, and she just slid her right down it, put it up and in. She might only be listed as a freshman, but she sure knows how to play basketball. So they kick it to Wharton. Wharton throws up a three. There, there's what they needed. A little late, but Grace Wharton, she's a good shooter. They're going to have to have more of that. Lures in no hurry here. Both to the left hand. They still forgot she's left hand. Hey, I, I don't left understand hand that. Their scouting report has got to be terrible tonight because she goes left every time and nobody guards her. Brian fires it into Sturba. Sturba to Reem. Reem throws up a two-pointer. And count it. 51-42. Ross finds Reem. 142 on the clock. They throw it forward. Bounce pass to Sturba inside. Sturba puts it up. Dwenger's going to have to score real quick and... Uh, and get a turnover somehow. 52-44, and Cleveland calls timeout. Going to set up his strategy in these last 32 seconds. And they are stepping up the free throw line. Caitlin Gray, the junior, second one on the way. Count it. She played well tonight, and she has all year. And the Lures Knights are going to come away with a 59. Big a surprise. 49 yep. victory. They played to the tempo of the Saints. And beat them at their own game. We thought this would be a close game. It went Lures' way, and they earned this game, and they just completely outplayed them. God bless everybody. Stay warm, stay dry, and uh, we will talk to you next Friday night.